Hello, I want to uh, share uh, my take on writing instruments and basically different scenarios. Uh, if you're building something uh, like Sharpies, because you can write on any surface, make some markings for cutting, etc. So, very useful in general. Um, the the zebra is also a much beloved pen. It looks pretty nice and it's metallic, so some argue it, it has a self-defense uh, capability. Uh, for writing on paper, I really like mechanical pencils because they never dry out and they don't stain or anything. And from those, um, a while ago I found out of the Kuru Toga it's a Japanese pencil that um, has a very sophisticated mechanism that spins the the lead here, the lid, and then it basically uh, gets sharpened as you write. So it's unnecessarily extra technology, uh, but still pretty cheap, and, and I just just love it. It's, it's looks like it's made with love, like they really care. So. Uh, my favorite of all time. Whenever I can, I use this pencil for anything. Now, as we go to EDC world, where we want to pack things in a small space, maybe, and um, you have the this uh, type of pens that come in two parts, and then you have a very big, um, very big pen, easy to hold, and then it collapses to a tiny, tiny space. So these are nice to put like in pouches or pockets. Very portable. There's different brands. There's like a right on the rain version. This is a different brand called Poca. These are much uh, more inexpensive, but still they have uh, basically similar features. They have an O-ring here, so it uh, it has a seal. Uh, so these are uh, quite good for small pens. For small pencils, there's small, uh, short uh, mechanical pencils. These are aimed, I suppose, for kids, but uh, it's basically uh, all the capability of a mechanical pencil that you don't need to sharpen or anything, but smaller. So I like this one for portability. And if we're going to go to extreme of portability, uh, the thing to do would be to take a a cheap pencil and then slice it and make it into a very short one so this will fit in any sort of Altoids can or one of those tiny kits and you can take this even further by basically cutting these edges in two sides, two opposite sides in that way, you create a much smaller cross-section. So this is the tiniest I ever uh, can think about. So if you uh, basically carry some kind of small piece of folded paper and this, you can have something to write ideas on the fly, but this will fit also in any tiny, tiny uh, kit. I even... Uh, experimented with putting things in a in a name tag so this this can fit basically in the space in a very restricted space of a name tag so I think that's kind of the extreme there may be ways to even go further down but as far as I go in terms of something simple easy to make so that's my recap of my favorite writing instruments. Thank you for watching.